All right, I'm down over here at the, the river house. Go ahead and do a quick video on throwing a cast net. Cast nets are pretty simple if you know how to use them. Now, a lot of people might just take a cast net, grab one end and do the whole little circle thing and then let go. That's not that bad of an idea, but <coughs> For me, when doing a cast net with a lot less movement, just coil your line up, pull your ring up to your hand, grab it between your hand like this. Okay, we're gonna go down, we're gonna grab one end, bring it back, put it on your hands, we're gonna fall it down with your thumb to the next bottom, bring it up again, and do it one more time. And bring it up and you see there's a lot more weight in this hand than normal but when you open this up look at that big V that big fan and what that's gonna do it's gonna allow us to throw it and get a nice open circle on the way down and all you gotta do is just go back with it and release nice and perfect circle okay that's real simple and if you're over here, you know, you're in the salt water and you're trying to catch shrimp, then what you're going to want to do is when you pull it back, kind of pull it back like this, not so fast if you're trying to get shrimp. And what that does is see those weights, it drags those weights on the bottom of the ground and it'll, those shrimp that are in the mud, it'll make them jump up when that trawl goes by it and they jump right up into your net. Now, if you're going after mullet or something like that, which are a little bit faster fish, a little stronger you're going to, want to speed it up and just like a regular cast net just just throw it and pull it up and I advise everybody if you're gonna practice throwing a cast net do it like I'm doing right here do it in the grass do it in an open spot because you don't want to screw up when you're on the water because you're just gonna mess up where you're casting at but it's a lot easier doing it this way than uh, doing the whole circle thing because you ain't going to wear yourself out as much and you don't have to have as much room to throw one okay and also I'd say practice on a smaller net like this like a six footer you know when you get a six footer down you can go down up you know up in size you know I, you, I can throw that 12 foot net and I'll show you a quick process on how to throw that 12 foot net in the same way I'm doing this one okay so you'd start with your line your hand here and if it's 12 foot, you know, that thing is long, it's already hitting the ground. So what you do is you're going to grab it down here with your hand and pull it up and put it in your hand like that. And what that does is it shrinks your line down. Okay. And then you would do the normal reach down, grab it, pull it up, put it in your fingers and do the whole, you know, three or however many you get comfortable with. And what that does, and when you release it, you're going to want to throw it up in the air a little bit more because it gives it more time for it to spread out. So when we go up, we're going to kind of launch it up. When it falls down, it should, you know, fall in a nice circle. But this is definitely, to me, the best way to throw a cast net than having to do that whole circle thing where you, like I said, grab it, grab one line here. That one's kind of tangled it up and do the whole little fan out thing and then you have to worry about you know all that momentum and stuff and you never know what will happen you might hit something when you're going around like me i gotta cast on this deck and i don't want to knock anything off or hit any of the poles or lights but yeah you know get your get your cast net and just go out and practice a few times and get it down and like i said it'll become second nature to you real easy you can go out there and catch real fast less less effort and get the job done uh, i guess I'll, <clears throat> I'll do a couple more videos while i'm here and uh i'll hopefully post them up but uh make sure y'all if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment on it if you got any questions share and subscribe if you haven't already but uh, I guess I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.